I love the Big 12, and I love looking at the standings right now. <laughs> it is mind-boggling. There are technically, at this juncture, on October 30th, we're pushing Halloween right now, and we still have seven teams that can go to the Big 12 championship game. How many conferences can say, hey, yeah, we have seven teams that are legitimate contenders? Now, I, I don't think West Virginia is going to get there. I, I don't know that Iowa State is going to get there. They've got a really tough gauntlet the rest of the way. I don't know if Kansas can keep the magic alive. But, hear me out, I don't know that they can't. It, we could, oh, dude, think about this. Just just close your eyes for, unless you're driving, at which or do, I don't know. Think about this. We could have a Kansas State, Kansas Big 12 championship game. It's not impossible. We could have an Oklahoma State, Iowa State, Big 12 championship game. It's not impossible. We could have an Oklahoma, Kansas rematch in the Big 12 championship game. We could have a West Virginia, Oklahoma State, Big 12 championship. That's how wild this league is. And you, you, you're going to hear from all these national people week in and week out. You know, I, 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 I watch... ESPN, I watch on three, 24-7, and they don't talk about the Big 12 ever. I Maybe I like that too, by the way. And I, and I get, you know, we talk TV ratings and how that could affect your conference and, and them staying alive moving forward. But I love the fact that we have the Big 12 and we know how nuts it is and we get to enjoy it and nobody else encroaches on that. This is our league. This is our league. And we all have this one little, little, it's, it's big, it's big. We have this big, happy family watching teams like West Virginia, Defy all odds. Iowa State five and three overall. That's not great. That's mediocre. It's really, it's really solid for Iowa State, who struggled historically. But four and one in Big Twelve play puts them in a spot to possibly go to the Big Twelve championship. Oklahoma State at four and one. They lost to South Alabama thirty three to seven. And, and and I don't bring that up as a knock on Oklahoma State. I bring it up as look how impressive it is that your team has done this this season. That is something to bask in. The fact that you came back from something so uh, a debacle so massive as to lose to that team in a blowout and now be in the conversation for a Big 12 championship. There are there are these schools, West Virginia, Iowa State, Oklahoma State, were in the, hmm, maybe we should fire our coach boat a month ago and now could all have a shot at the Big 12 title and two of them could play each other. Oklahoma State can play Iowa State in a I, I almost fired my head coach bowl. I know neither of them almost fired their head coach. I want to throw that part out there. But again, weeks ago, we were saying, what if? What if it's time? What if they can't get it done? I, I don't see possible for sure. But I don't see Texas and Oklahoma making it to the Big 12 title. And now, after that loss to Kansas, there is a way. When Oklahoma State beats Texas, make it Oklahoma State beats Oklahoma this week. When Oklahoma State beats Oklahoma this week, we're going to look and say, oh, wow, Texas and Oklahoma are both going to miss the Big 12 championship game. When the University of Texas loses to Kansas State this week, we're going to look around and say, oh, wow, Texas isn't going to the Big 12 championship game. We, we speaking on behalf of the Big 12 that exists without Texas and OU speaking on behalf of the teams that aren't those two now have the opportunity the way this thing has shaken out to knock off those two teams and send them out the door without a trip to Arlington having barred Texas from a trip to Arlington for since before I was in college barring Oklahoma from a trip to Arlington since my for the first time since my freshman year of college right up our alley sophomore year sophomore year of college maybe right up our alley to do and I love it. Oklahoma State, I'm rooting for you. Iowa State, I'm rooting for you. I was, I was wrong in my preseason predictions about Iowa State, obviously. I was wrong. I was wrong in my preseason predictions about Kansas, obviously. Six and two after an Oklahoma win. I was right on the money. Right on the money with Kansas State, Oklahoma State. High on those two teams preseason. For Texas and OU, I was lower on both those teams. But right now, right here, right now, they could prove me by the end of this year correct. Just need them to go like nine and three, eight and four. And they are staring down the barrel of it. I love just, just, isn't this league awesome? 
This has been and always will be. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk some more sports. What do you say there, pal? Huh? 10,000 subscribers. I'll shave this old hat of mine by January 1st. What a rapid ascension there. Uh, this has been and always will be locked on. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Dose grande.